Welcome to Chess Pains. Today I'll be talking about the Danish Gambit. It starts off with your typical pawn e4, pawn e5, which if you play chess, you know that this is a very common opening. A vast majority of games start this way. Uh, but if you want to play the Danish Gambit, you want to play pawn to d4 and hope that black takes your pawns after you offer them up. Uh, generally from here, if someone's played against the Danish Gambit, they will move their knight out to here. Um, and sometimes, even if they've played against it, they, they feel tempted to just go ahead, take a couple pawns, get up in material, knowing that white can still get extremely aggressive. Uh, from here, uh, as you can tell, white is aggressive. Uh, two bishops are going. The queen has a good open D file. Uh, move the knight out, and your your king can castle the move after that. Uh, very very good position for white. Black has absolutely nothing going at all. Uh, lots of times, we'll see black move a knight out, and then depending on what you do, they'll move the other knight out. Desperately trying to get aggressive. Uh, the most successful move black has from this point is pawn to d6, in which case you can either move the knight out or you can move your queen up to here. Either move has a 60% success rate for white. Uh, generally, I like to play the knight move, um, but sometimes it's, it makes an interesting game to take this pawn here, pretty much forcing black to take your bishop. Uh, you're down four points of material, but you have a pretty strong attack going, and black has nothing going. Black's king is completely exposed. Black's going to have a very difficult time in this game. Uh, you are down four points of material, so it helps black a little in the long run. But if you can get a good attack going, you'll be in pretty good shape from here. The, ultimately, the best thing black can do against the Danish Gambit is to just not take the free pawns. After your typical pawn e4, pawn e5, pawn d4, uh, black will take this move this up, and then black moves the knight out. That's usually the best thing black can do from here because this knight can't go here now. It's blocked in. You're not really allowing the bishop over here now. It's white, white has options still, and white's going to still be in a decent position, but not nearly as good as if you take those pawns like white wants. Anyway, that concludes my video for today on the Danish Gambit. Later on, we will have a video of a more in-depth version showing you different variations, what you can do, what black can do. And then hopefully, very soon, I'll show you a game that was played in, I think, 1865 is the game. Uh, the Danish Gambit just completely annihilated a really good player. Um, but stay tuned, in the next couple days we will have a video about the Latvian Gambit, which is a very fun, aggressive opening, especially if the, your opponent has never seen it before. Latvian does have a lot of weak spots, much more so than the Danish. Anyway, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe.